Isn't getting sick the worst? Like not even wanting to eat or drink. Hard to get out of bed and do anything but lay around and mope. The same is true for animals. No one likes to be sick, and this includes our animals. So how can we prevent this? Biosecurity. Biosecurity is a strategy that keeps disease-causing agents in or out of certain places. So where, you might ask? Places that pose risk to humans, animals, food products, safety, and quality. Animal agriculture operations implement practices all the time to prevent the spread of disease. If you've exhibited animals at your county or local fair or other livestock shows, you've probably completed a quality assurance session. And th in those, you've learned about biosecurity practices. Biosecurity practices not only protect animals against the spread of disease, but humans as well. Did you know there's diseases that can be transmitted from animals to humans or even humans to animals? These are called zoonotic diseases. These are transmitted across species, and they can be bacterial, viral, or even parasitic. You'll explore biosecurity practices that prevent the spread of disease. Identify biosecurity practices that you are currently using, and research zoonotic diseases. Just like us humans, animals can spread germs through mucus. Animals that share the same water or feed troughs share germs from their mouth and their nose all day long. When animals lick things, they also spread germs. Even when they cough or sneeze, tiny mucus particles are spreading everywhere through the air, just like when we cough and sneeze. Animals not only share germs with each other, but also with humans too. Influenza, or the flu, is a disease that can actually change or mutate inside the body. This means it can become easier to infect animals or people and can make them sicker. Let's explore these ideas further to see how quickly germs can transmit between animals. 